the middle of March, and it's time to put snowmobiles away. We got them all under tarps there on both sides. It's Travis, my helper, yeah. helping put them away. So these have to go in there and be put to bed too for the summer. But today I wanted to talk about my little RD8, make a video of that. About 20 years ago, one of the neighbor ladies called me up and said that she had some old snowmobiles she wanted me to look at. She wanted to get rid of them. Went over there and she had a couple Olympics and a Nordic. And they were in the late 60s, early 70s. And then she had this one. We call it an RD8. Um, we think it's a 1965 model. We uh, got it home and cleaned it up, and while we were cleaning it up, we went into the little cubby hole here and uh, found the registration card. In here, it said 1965 model, 1965 first year registered, and uh, skidoo. So we're assuming that's what it is. We don't have much snow here now, so I parked this little thing out on a patch of snow, so it will look somewhat decent here in this old environment. It goes through snow real well, not fast, pretty slow, but it's light for a twin track. We cleaned it up. Do some carburetor work, put a new belt on it, and it's been on the farm ever since here. It uh, it has a, a, a side exhaust here. The exhaust comes out the side. I've looked in here and I don't see any place where it could have had a hole to go down through the panel in here for exhaust. We, when we took it apart, we had to uh, take all these bolts out along here. And man, oh man, there's a lot of bolts in here. Must have, it's hard to get the, the nuts back on on the inside up in here. Must have been before they invented hinges that this was made. They really bolted on. But the engine is up in your lap, so that's easy to work on. There's a headlight. And... Uh, Filled the gas through here. It's got one big ski in the front here. Looks like there's been some repair work done on that. It has the brake here. So idle here, of course. Choke is down here. Tillotson carburetor. Choke is right here. That lever for the choke. This pulls back, it's a shield, it comes off down here, but it pulls back. I think it's supposed to be a key or something holding it up there, it's gone. So the clutch system is like all the old ones or just a variable drive clutch on there. Real nice head, uh, tail light there, that was on there when we got it. I don't know what they had originally. The seat lifts up so you can store stuff underneath, storage area. Let's see if I can get a picture of the data plate here. Bore 69, stroke 66, capacity 247 cc's. And here's the picture of the data plate here on the top. I don't know how good this will come out, but let's see if we can get it to show up a little bit. Bombardier. 971D5, it says on it, whatever that means. Made in Quebec, anyway, Canada. Bombardier Snowmobile Limited. A little cubby hole. Uh, got the original key, wouldn't want to lose that. A different key. A 
decal there. Anyway, that's our little twin tracks canoe. We call it an RDH 1965 model. Maybe it's a Alpine or something else. I don't know. Catch you later.